Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today, we are looking at something called ACDC Video Studio 3. Now, you may know the name ACDC Studio or ACDC in general because of their image viewing software, especially if you kind of are the same age category as me. It used to be basically everybody had to get an image viewer, and ACDC was probably the best one out there, at least in my humble opinion. And ACDC Video Studio, well, that one I've never actually heard of. And this one comes thanks to a suggestion on the Game From Scratch Discord server, which, by the way, if you haven't joined yet, you really should do so. It's a group of awesome people talking about awesome stuff and the link will be down below if you want to check that out but this is good until july the 29th so i decided to go ahead and check this guy out really quickly and i immediately know it and the reason why i immediately know it is because this is straight up 100 percent a camtasia clone and that's um solid because this actually camtasia is a piece of software i spend money on every single year it is what i use to do probably 90 95 percent of the video content you see on this channel so today we're checking out acdc now if this video is a little bit off or a little bit weird that is because I am recording it and editing it in ACDC uh, Video Studio 3. So again, you got until July 29th to pick this guy up, but let's do something quickly here. This is Camtasia. This is my uh, video capture and editing software. And I want to point out a couple things here. Up here at the top right corner, you see this record. We got the timeline here. We got your uh, various different options here, your media bin here. And then, you know, that's basically the entire idea here. Now let's go look at the ACDC version of it. So we're doing a video capture right now, but here you go. All right, so here's your record. Here's your various different options. Here's your timeline. Here's your preview. Uh, you even got your produce and share button. Uh, share button. Like this is way too much of a clone. Like this is almost should be borderline illegal if I'm honest about it. Now, I don't know how well it works. We'll see how we get to the end of it, but I do actually really find myself liking AC, sorry, uh, Camtasia Studio for my work. It's a very straightforward and easy to learn video editor. And if you're doing simple stuff, kind of like what I do, uh, if you need to, you know, cut a trailer or do a tutorial or something like that, ACDC Video Studio might be an ideal checkout for you. So now I'm going to transition. We're going to do this, uh, what's the inception style here where I'm going to now stop this edit and we're going to go in and do the rest directly in ACDC Video Studio 3. So we will be right back. All right, so that saved it as an MP3 file, uh, sorry, an MP4 file. So now we're ready to get going. Again, I have never used this program in my life, and I guarantee you I already know how to go ahead and use this because, like I said, this is straight out a Camtasia clone. So here's the uh, the file as we've generated so far. This is the beginning of this video. Now you're going to notice the, uh, the audio isn't normalized, so it's going to be very quiet. I'm going to have to find out if I can normalize it or not. Uh, audio effects here. Ooh, if we just got to fade in and the fade out. That's unfortunate. Not a lot of options there, but I have recorded my audio down here. Uh, let's do separate the audio and video so we can split them into different tracks. And what can I do with the audio? No, nope. looks like I'm, what I'm going to have to do is export that audio out. Now it was available here. So let's see if I can do file, uh, export. Okay, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to get my audio out. I'll do that after the fact. So this audio is going to be way too quiet for some particular reason. I'm going to have to do some editing there. And now what you normally do in a tool like this is basically you start scrubbing forward. So a lot of times what I do is an introductory graphic. I haven't actually created one for this as of yet. So I'm just going to come here and we're going to import media. And again, this is hilarious. So here I am, media. Like I'm talking, we're talking straight out. It, 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 if you didn't know better, you would almost swear you were using the exact same program. It, it's almost obnoxious in some ways how much of a clone this is. So we're getting some here. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll use the Lumberyard graphic from earlier on. Obviously, when I produce this later, I'm going to have to uh, you know, create a title graphic or whatever. So what I'm going to do, I'll move this track up. So we're on track three. And let's drop that guy in here. So this is almost identical to what my process is uh, as I create for uh, Game From Scratch. We can also do this on the same track. So what I could probably have done is taken this guy and we could do a split. So right there, we'll delete that guy out there and we'll just drop that guy in. I'm assuming it automatically butted the two together. All right, so now what we can do is probably a transition. And normally the way this works is you just drag and drop it in between the join. <laughs> yes, this is too scary. Okay, just, just again, so you know what we're talking about here for a clone. All right, so here's my video channel right there. Let's do a split. All right, so there is our thing. There is our transition. Let's drop one in there, and then boom. So yeah, <laughs> this is such a clone. All right, so there we go. So we got our graphic in there. And you can see it in effect. Scrub it as we go through the timeline. Uh, you don't have nearly as many of effects, but yeah, there's a couple there to work with. I don't see a lot here for um, doing on-screen text. So yeah, I can do captions, a closed captions here. Uh, but nothing here for on screen. I do have a uh, brutal uh, 
uh, filter effects going on here, but we are missing a lot of the tools that you might like. So I like things here. So things like annotations, if I want to do overlays, text, on-screen keyboards, that kind of stuff, that functionality does seem to be missing. But for a straight out just uh, producing and creating a video, there's a shocking amount here. All right, so there we go. So now let's say we're good to go with our project. Uh, let's see, there's nothing really here. We can just, Over time, we can keyframe rotations and so on of our things. We can also bring in uh, an image or an overlay. So let's say I want to go ahead, see if I got, yeah, so there we go. Say I wanted to drop a watermark on this guy. We can just bring that in. Oh, so that's the from before. Okay, so where is my... Let's do it here. So maybe if I drop that onto this channel here. Okay, there we go. Set the duration of it. All right. So let's scale that out. So boop, if you want to set a watermark, you can do so. And there. And we can do things, of course, like transition to the watermark. So let's say we wanted to do slide in, slide that guy in. And then here we can see, and then boom, there is our, our effect. And again, if you want to change the duration of that slide, you can do so right there. Now, this isn't 100% a, a compare to Camtasia simply because it, it just doesn't um, compete on the same features and functionality level. But it is shocking how close this actually is. Now, go ahead, produce and share it when you're ready. So let's say I want to export this. Yeah, I do probably do it at 1080p like you see right here. You can set the video bit, bit right there. We can do some detail settings here so we can set and bring it out as well, oh, MP4, 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 or MP4. I'm fine with that. Let's do this as MP4. Uh, looks like we can set the frame rate, uh, sort of. We can do 24 or 30 frames per second. So no 60 frames per second stuff going on here. Uh, but, you know, a decent set of, of features here. And then when you're ready to produce, you basically just go ahead and do so. Or we can directly share out to YouTube and use your credentials. And that's another thing uh, that we can do. Uh, oh, no, we do have options. So MP4, MOV, M. 4V, WebM, and MP3 export available there. And yeah, so the only thing I really have left to figure out is how I can actually export out this audio and then uh, edit it in an external editor. I'm going to check that out after the fact. But otherwise, this is, again, it's staggering how, how brutally uh, they have cloned Camtasia. The only thing that really looks different is uh, the record button, which you can see in action right here. And if I do a Camtasia recorder, the Camtasia recorder, and this is, oh, it's, it's already, they're even using the same shortcuts. Oh, that's kind of obnoxious. But here you can see the dimensions are being set there. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of the same setup for the most part. Okay, it's it's kind of obscene. But that's it. That, that is it for now. Uh, but in all honesty, the thing to clone here, the fact that they're going with uh, Camtasia as a role model, I do think th there's a reason why I continue to pay for it. It just makes life easier. So you can capture using something like OBS Studio, but you still have to edit it. And then we've got something like uh, Vegas or HitFilm. I use HitFilm for more advanced effects, but it's a lot more work. And generally, it's a bit slower on the whole. So if you're looking for a simple video editing solution, this could be a good choice. And again, if you grab it before July the 29th, uh, it's free. You do have to use a registered email address. They'll send you a product key. Uh, they'll send you a temporary password. You log in, uh, verify your account, and then you're done and good to go. Now, as I mentioned, to start things off, this is so Visual Studio for Video Studio Four is out there and available. So just do be aware. Um, there is. It does seem like there's a demo of it. I'm not sure how time delayed this is. Ooh, don't download, don't download. Uh, but there is a newer version out there. Um, so just something to be aware of. You're, you're getting one version out of date from the, the newest version. Uh, but as you can see, 90 bucks a month, that's not so bad. Or a lifetime license for 40 bucks. Again, those are actually pretty cheap prices. Now, I'd be interested to see what is actually new to ACDC Video 4. Um, there is a fair bit that's missing from this compared to Camtasia Studio. So... Uh, yeah, could be interesting to see. Oh, they're even using the same keyframing icons that you get in Camtasia. So yeah, this is this is a straight out Camtasia clone. So if you're looking for a simple video editor that you want to check out and get for free, uh, ACDC Video Studio 3 is available for free. And a Okay, a bit of an edit here because I encountered a bug, frankly. It seems that for some reason, the last little bit of audio, basically from here to here got cut. It cut it on both clips before and the after when I started editing this. So do be aware there are some bugs and glitches. I'm now using the audio recorder to hopefully do some audio I can superimpose over top. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. <laughs> Goodbye. 
Well, here we are in the ultimate of ironies. Now when I want to actually go ahead and upload the video, for some reason, whenever I do so, I get this video could not be processed by uh, the YouTube channel. I have no idea what's going on. I'm sending up a raw MP4. The video shows up just fine. So I don't actually know why this is occurring. As you see, I can play the video right here. There, there we go. It seems to all work fine. But for some reason, when I upload this guy to um, YouTube, it, it fails out. You can see here, like it's so. So uh, there's something going on here. And ironically, what I am doing now is I've uploaded the video into Camtasia Studio, where I'm recording this footer at the very end to kind of give this final story. So what I'm saying here is... ACDC Video Studio available for free, version 3. Uh, there's some potential here. It's very nice. It's a Camtasia Studio clone, but it is no Camtasia Studio. All right, that's it for now. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.